Welcome to Info Guides, where I show you what little I know. All right, everybody, we have an unboxing today. Got some new toys in, and it's not crypto, but it's a toy, it's a gadget, it's fun. We have picked up, let's see if you guys can see here. Ugh. And any cubic. Cobra 2 Max 3D printer. And we're going to unbox that. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too much. But we're going to open this up. We're going to unbox it. We're going to try to get the initial, just assemble it. And check it out. So here we go. This is the, uh, of course, big box here. Here, let's start with the, let's start with the small stuff. Or at least the smaller box of not as fun stuff. So I purchased this probably four months ago on a whim. I just was checking stuff out. I saw it and I was like, buy now. I did get it on sale. Can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but uh, yeah, probably too much. I know there's other places I can get used ones, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and have fun with this. So what we have in this box is, when I purchased it, I also got a bunch of, what do you call it, it's not ribbon, uh, kilograms of printer ink, filament. It has been sitting now in my garage for about four months, waiting for my man cave room, this wonderful piece of work, to get finished so I could go ahead and, you know, use it. So what do you guys think? Are you guys... Uh, do you, any of you out there have your own 3D printers? I know the Technicals does. And I know, I believe he has the same exact one because I believe it was his video where it got me looking at prices and on a whim, I hit buy now after watching one of the Technicals videos. So if this stinks, it is 100% his fault. As we know, he just does not get it. The Technicals just doesn't get it, guys. But anyway... Uh, if you guys like this type of content, I much appreciate it if you hit the like button. I don't know what it's called on YouTube. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. But more importantly, please leave comments down below. What do you think? I have a couple ideas what I want to print on this. And that is part of the reason why I wanted a larger one. I didn't want it for height. I wanted it for width uh, and depth. Do you have a 3D printer? And more so, what do you like to print? I don't care about the size, the brand. Yeah, we can all brag about size. We get it, we get it, we get it. But I care about what is it that you print with your 3D printer? Um, I know the technicals is a mastermind of his CPU stands. Now I'm purposely trying to uh, keep this visible to the camera and yes that means the camera's gonna wiggle wobble and jiggle. <laughs> what is it? This like Indiana Jones. And this is the Temple of Doom. Actually this is the Batcave. Okay looks like we got sticks! Two sticks! We got drumsticks! Oh goodness. This might be a little bit long of a video if I don't edit this, so. More foam. I don't know what this is. Uh, just a placeholder. I'm assuming that's what this is. Just cardboard placeholders. Garbage. And Nice. This thing's a little big. What do we got here? Any cubic and Chinese. I imagine I need these tools, pieces, and parts to do the rest of this assembly. I can't see this side too well, so I don't want to pull too hard. Uh, it looks like we've got the print head.
a spindle holder. Look at this. I'm already breaking out in a huge sweat here, guys. Okay, we got the little touchscreen display. Um, I can't tell, but I think I should lift this big guy out now. I'm going to take this box and set it on the floor where I have more room. might have to read the instructions guys which is just plain bunk having to read those instructions I'm not sure which way is the front I went yeah I just don't know <laughs> okay I think I'm assuming they put this on the correct direction. So I'm assuming that's the front. All right. I'm looking for the vertical arms. I have this thing velcroed, or velcroed, zip tied on here. Is that one of the arms? It looks like it could be. All right, sorry about the, the AC fan here. It's a little uh, hot in here. However, uh, here's where the, the arms are actually attached to the base. They got four metal plates. So I just took that first one off. That was right here. Then I got to take this guy off. And then I got to take that guy off. And then I got to take that guy off. So I'm sure I got to cut the, the zip ties as well. All that fun stuff. So hang in there. I learned in something. Okay, so the gantry itself, the left, the top, and the right, is all pre-connected. So you just gotta take it off, lift it vertical. Then down here on the side, there's three bolts we gotta put in. We do two here, then we do one longer one. So that's what I'm working on right now, guys. Again, sorry for the AC. It's just too hot in this room without it. Uh, let's see. So the one thing I'll say here is there's three bolts that tighten each side of the arm on. There's one here, one up there, and then this one. Now, it doesn't say how tight. It doesn't say anything about tightness. So I just went with the longest one first then tighten these two, and then I just kind of like did a car tire iron, and I just kind of went around until all of them felt really snug. This here is the, the support arm that, I want to get this tightened up first before attaching the support arm, which that will go down here to this open spot right here. But I just wanted to point out that this does feel very sturdy. I've only really got this one side tightened down nice and tight. So we're going to spin this around, hit the other side, and then we're going to finish attaching, you know, the support arm at the top is one thing, but then we got to attach it down here just to help that vertical support. All right, so get these all <clears throat> tightened up. And what I'm also doing, which isn't really an instruction, is all these other bolts that uh, were here, I'm going through 
And I'm just taking the Allen wrenches that came with them. And I'm just giving them a little tightening just because it was shipped. And I want to make sure uh, before I start doing anything, everything is nice and tight. If this is a mistake, please let me know. But to me, it just makes sense that we would go through after a shipping and just kind of give all these things a nice little uh, tensioning. So I'm going through and hitting all these, just making sure we got them all nice and tight. Uh, I'm also hitting them up here at the top. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And see you in a bit. All right. We're putting the print head on and what it has is it has these four really small little screws here you put the top two in on both sides and you put them in loosely you set the print head on here this little uh motor here it's at an angle and it sits in this v shape and just the top two screws and the motor will kind of hold it in place the bottom has these plastic clips that you just push forward those clip in place and then you have two more little screws you put in there see if you can see them so you've got two more you put in here so there's a total of four of these little guys holding this print head on right now I'm just kind of going through tightening them in now that I got it set up or not set up but started so there we go, the print head is attached. All right, so attach the filament arm here. Uh, just attach this to the side here. I didn't like how that attached. It just seems like the metal's folded the wrong way, but I just went with it. It says the diagram. So I just made sure these two bolts here were nice and tight. Uh, the next thing it said to do was attach this filament feed sensor up here and push this feed, the plastic feed tube uh, in here. It didn't say how tight to make this. I think I've got it too tight. Uh, and it's only got one screw. And I'm sure that so it can pivot a little bit. So I don't know if I'm supposed to let this be loose or if I'm supposed to have it nice and tight. So if somebody could let me know in the comments below, much appreciate it. All right, so it's still powering on. Right now it's going through the nozzle preheating and right now we're on to, it's cleaning the nozzle. And I think it has to do an auto leveling and it's preheating before it puts in, lets us put in any element or filament. Uh, it's got to preheat to the right temperature. So we're just kind of waiting for it, seeing how far it gets. All right. So I got a spool of filament out. The book shows that the filament should come across the top through this little, I think it's a feed sensor. And you get it up through this tube, you just kind of hand feed it up through here. And then when you get to here, you push down on this as you feed some more through until it stops. You let go of this. That's just kind of, I think, uh, let's see, layman's term here. It just opens up the nozzle so that it gets a grip of it when you let go. So it's gripped on so it can then feed the rest as it needs to. And then it says basically wait for the temperature to get up to temp and then click extrude. So let's see what happens. Oh, and you can see the spindle slowly moves here. <gasps> Look at that, we've got some stuff coming out. It's shitting all over my desk. Oh my. What's a good way to clean the nozzle here, guys? There we go. There's a, we just kinda Took a piece of filament and pulled it across there. It looks like it still needs 
some more cleaning down here. I think we're on track here to hit print. Test model. What is, I have no idea here. Shark. Oh, the boat. Shark. Uh, another boat. Okay, a shark beer bottle opener. Yeah, let's hit print. But I do see it did start to extrude a thin line. Whoa, maybe that's just to get started. We're printing something, guys. There we go. And that is how you become a master. Yes, a master of 3D printing. Yay! Okay, guys, uh, this took longer for me to work through all the details than I thought because, you know, uh, the videos that I've seen from the technicals doesn't cover any of this stuff. He's too good to cover how to set things up. But I'm not. I'm here to show you what little I know. Please like and subscribe down below. Leave me feedback, comments. How do I do this better? How do I do this worse? What, you know, just leave me feedback. I need it. I need lots of feedback, guys. Anyway, take care. And I've been your host on this weird video. And yeah, see you next time. Until then, I'm Info Guides. Peace. Okay. I'm just curious. What do you guys think? For a kind of first layer on this print, does this look good or not? Let me know. Check out the full length video. Peace. I'm out of here. Info guides. That's who I am.